Zone Zyda, and uh, I'm going to show you how to basically paint a Killican, an Orc Killican. Uh, just one, already base coated with chainmail, chainmail, uh, Citadel color chainmail. Yay, professional paint. Anyway, just using that, I'm going to bring out colors like my drop pot. Metal, metal, and my Razorback also, which I really like, and my Venerable, my Venerable Dreadnought, which I think came up fashionably well, if you will. Basically, basically, just, basically give, it that, just give it that scratch and scratch. dent kind of mannerisms. I'm going to be trying to do this with one hand. Because I tried strapping the cam uh, yeah the camcorder to my head, didn't work. It did not work. So first, oh, and I've got the close combat weapon non-painted and non-attached. My suggestion is do not attach them because you can interchange them with other killer cans. For example, if I if I have this killer can, I don't like the fact that. This close combat weapon is on this arm. It doesn't just it just doesn't seem right. I can change it. This one. Pop it in there. And I actually kind of like that one better. Because it gives that whole bring upon your head with the chainsaw. So actually, how about this close combat weapon? Almost looks like a dragon head. Anyway. So yeah, so this way it's almost like. All right, I'm gonna flame you after grabbing you. So, chainmail, a favorite brush that you could, that you use for dry brushing. I use a three round, whichever, whatever that means. It's my favorite brush, as you can tell by the electrical tape. I was using pliers so much that it just broke the metal. This metal part. So yeah, so not fun. Um, when you start seeing it, the cap come off of like brushes like this probably get a new one if you can so random showcase of stuff works 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 space marine space marine space marine paint brushes random sexy blade and objectives yeah um so on to the painting down because of uh, like a tad on the bottom of the camcorder. Whoever designed the camcorder was absolutely terrible. I don't even have a tripod. So enough of me complaining. Open your paint. It does not have to be done with one hand. It's very tough with one hand. Oh, right. First, shake your... I'm shaking my paints. Okay. By the way, this is not using a palette or anything. I have to put you down. Uh, prepare for a random white desk. I'm putting you down so I can open the paint. That's all I'm doing. Oh, open the paint. Uh, right. The paint is open. And mixed. Open. So, and mixed. You're going so, to... Can't do it hand. Just take your brush, take some from the cap. I do believe this is a foundation paint. I don't know if that means it's going to stick well or not, but whatever. Take your scrap paper, move your magnets if you've got them, and just make sure you've got very little paint, just enough to like see the brushes, have enough paint, right? Bring your kilocan or vehicle, because this also works for other vehicles, as you see with my drop pod and other things. Anything that's black with a metal, uh, with like metal uh, base. Grab it and just go along the detail lines like here and just ever so quickly, ever so lightly, this is sloppy, go along and the, le the less paint the better, but in fact this is actually quite terrible. Take off lots of paint, make sure you've got very little paint and just brush it on. 
uh, really quickly. Just basically, you can you can basically basically go everywhere, even on weapons. Yes. Some people say don't do that, but I say go ahead. It gives it that scratch and dent look. I'm sorry if my camera miss is going haywire and such. It's just me. I'm not good at holding the camera and doing stuff at the same time. So you've got your arms and part of the head, uh, or at least the outside, to be honest. You can do it as much as you desire. More paint with more scratching and dumping. I'm using a light to prevent shadows because without it, you can't quite see it. So you can go along. Note yourself, get a tripod. You can even do like ordinary metal parts, like flat parts, you know. Teeth. If you're leading it like this with one hand, paint down. It works better. Get underneath. Actually, this is starting to work out. Woo! So, yeah, just basically go along. It shouldn't, this, this method shouldn't take you more than 20 minutes for the whole thing. So, yeah. When you need more paint, go over to your, over to the scrap paper that kind of blends in with your desk. And that, that is not part of the scrap paper. That's on my desk. And just keep going. Sideways. Camera. Cast out shadow. Doubt. Okay. Because I'm positioning this so poorly, I'm just gonna. Big wide strokes, big quick wide strokes of the brush. Let's paint this in the camera. Okay. Person view. All right. So this is kind of working out with person view. Let's zoom in a bit. Get the exhaust pipe. Sides. As you can see, there may be some parts of the mini that are yet unpaint, uh, unbase coated. Let's be like that. I don't play it works um, as a primary person, primary armor or whatever. But you know, flip it upside down, stabby, stabby, work your revenge. Like arms, inside of arms. See, by dry brushing everything on, you get you can get corners because the paint stands off on those. You can get paint. You can get bolts and such that stick out. This might not work. I might actually have to dip into the well. You should only have to use one. Only one brush worth it. Or, oh, dropping my killer can. You should only have to use one brush worth of paint. But because I did that, that it's kind of. Best part about this technique, it doesn't get on the base easily. But there's still a chance of getting on the base, so if you get on the base, it's okay. Um, so yeah, so basically, since I'm nearing the end of this, you're just probably going to be doing some detailing left. Um, base coat and paint, use combat weapon, finish up with your dry brushing, I think this may be called. I have no idea, but it works. I was not taught to paint, by the way. I just did whatever came to mind. I've coined my own terms of sorts. Dry brushing is this. So I'm going to label it 
not so dry brushing gilly can. And yeah, um, just kind of finish up. If you need paint, that's okay. I'm not saying this is how you do it. If you don't do it, you're a failure. But it's fairly simple, so you should be able to do it. Um, right now, this is a failure. So don't don't expect expect better results than this. Just don't use so much paint like me. And remember to clean your brush afterwards. That's always a problem. And yeah, that's basically it. So you just dry brushed a kill can with chainmail. Um, I'm probably gonna get along to the war bikers and the truck, but what, but my main project for the orcs is already done. Oh, he's running into things. He's already killing his own kind. He was kind of get bashed, I suppose you could say. Uh, he's got the shells from the boys. When they have their heavy bol uh, yeah, bolters, wow. <sighs> heavy shooters? Big shooters, that's it. Big shooters. On both sides, that's two of them. He's got his. Just so you know, I don't play orcs, so I don't know all the terminology. I'm guessing it's a slugger. Because it's not a shooter, I know that. So it's a slugger with uh, rounds or docker coming out. Extra dock on the inside of his arm. Another magazine. Daka on his hip and on the back of his boss pole. His power claw, I know this much, um, is holding a glaive. A glaive. That's much better. Um, his boss pole has a slightly gold tinge, but um, it's got two extra like blades from Choppa's. And basically, he was the last model, so I spent as much time as I could on him. It's a good mantra. A lot more like, yay, I'm done with this, um, what was it, battle force? Yeah, I'm done with this battle force. Let's do something special. I did a burnt sienna. Enamels that you find in AC Moors or, yeah, AC Moors. Uh, burnt sienna over elf skin, I think it is. Elf flesh. I was close. With shining gold, chain mail, I could have used bolt gun metal. I've got it. But I didn't need it. Because apparently everything else, including my war boss from Black Reach, that I threw a bunch of random armor plates on and called him a uh, war boss in Mega Armor. Um, which came out pretty nice. Uh, everything ma basically was painted in chainmail color. Of course, I didn't use any Citadel or Games Workshop with game color paints at the time. And that's about it. Back to more videos. Awesome. Batteries. Yes, save the batteries. Save um, I'll be getting to the other two kill cans. Can't see them any farther. Um, but don't forget to detail work him. Lots of little, got lots of little buttons and such. Buttons and such. Lots buttons of little buttons, buttons and such. Targeting eyes. Targeting eyes or whatever. It could be painted could be a different painted. color. And if black isn't your color, say red or purple or pink or yellow. I'm sure you can employ the same techniques. Maybe even with the uh, chaos black. So yeah. So don't just think it's just for black. It's not. It, black just makes chainmail stand out. Alright. That's it. Enough of my babbling. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Favorite. Like. Comment. Yes, comment.